yeah i will never tell you continue to bear no there's nothing to bear if you can't take it if it's not okay you are human and you have a place you come from return there it's not that bad i know that it's not easy back at home but man it is not that bad if you are feeling in a, a way that you know we it get to the point of us making videos um making it when you yourself you know what you do for a living you know why you know why these people are constantly at your door point at your doorstep you know why you know why if there's someone oppressing you go to the police don't come and sit down and say if i go you heard from a yahoo boy that if you go to the police station you'll be wrong you you know they do yahoo you they say phone case for for circle or you they sell food you they do legitimate also you can't follow the person sit down you you don't know the full story oh now wait till me i get to talk with this hello everyone we are back again with another video thank you so much for clicking but if you are new here hi my name is lillian and of course if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscription button turn on the bell notification put it on the last one that says all so that anytime i upload a video you'll be notified and of course do it to like this video this is like a reaction video but a little bit different from what i've been doing on here the difference is i am going to narrate this video without displaying it on the screen because i do not want this video to be out here through my channel it can start from any other place i will get it and react to it i'm not going to be the first to bring it on youtube because i'm setting up it's already on other on other social media platforms and for me personally i'm seeing it on I have been seeing it on whatsapp status of different people that i'm close to that i'm you know i'm following on whatsapp so i felt like um we need to talk about this because the message in the video is um, a scary one for me because me living in ghana and doing my type of job in ghana i don't want to see this and ignore it the video may make it way to youtube as in just in just a matter of time or it will not make it way to youtube i don't know there's a video of people believed to be nigerians and Ghanaians having like altercation and even getting physical i don't know if you know what i mean i could hear people that has the nigerian accent saying oh you people don't want us in your land allow us to be in ghana in peace and i don't know i can't I can't tell more about the people behind it but some people are circulating that it's the Ghanaian police but I don't know because they are not wearing any uniforms and according to the video there are no ID cards you know there was no way to prove that they are actually men of the Ghana police service so for me I want to talk about this because in the video is made to believe that as a Nigerian, your freedom is restricted in Ghana. You're not free to be yourself. You're not allowed to just express yourself because you are living in a foreign land. Let's talk about this now before a lot of people misunderstand some things between these two communities. Now, there are two types of Nigerians living in Ghana. We have lots of Nigerians living in Ghana, but there are just two types living in Ghana first let's talk about talk about the positive nigerian the one that is here maybe they have their documents or not but they are here doing legitimate business and they are here doing you know all sort of right foot thing during you know what you and i considered to be right in our own understanding of rights right and we have another set that is here but the line of business cannot be publicly discussed. I always want people to know that you don't just see a Nigerian and just assume that, oh, okay, yeah, that's it. As for the ladies, yeah, they are here for that or for this. And as for the guys, they are here for that because sometimes you may be wrong about your predictions. Many of the times I have seen people that are wrong about this assumption. There are two types of lives as a nigerian in ghana i have lived both these lives i have lived the other life where my experience is a different one entirely and then i'm living the life i'm living now and my experience is nothing compared to the first 
do you understand like in 2022 before i rented an apartment i had nowhere to stay and due to the fact that i didn't have anyone in town that i know could be of help the only solution was for me to check into a house feed up with girls from my country so it's a common thing here because the rents are expensive and some of these people are pretty young with little to nothing source of income so what they do is you see a lot of people living in one house do you get it what they are there for nobody knows they are there for different purposes and i had no choice at that time but to put up with one of such place and as a matter of fact my experience is not the same i remember coming out each morning coming out i remember what happened each time i'm coming out of the apartment that place to go outside to buy something i see people looking at me in a weird manner and to think that i didn't understand while i was there i used to patronize this shop there are some shops not far away from where I was staying so when i want to get some things i just go to them maybe like water i go to them and the nicest person among them who ask me you know come out this night you know come out yesterday you know come out like i didn't understand what she meant like you know come out to where because of course there are people who go out they come out maybe night or day so i didn't think properly less than a month until i was able to rent my own apartment and i moved from there and i moved from there to my own space and everything changed everything just changed like uh, am i still in ghana it's different now nobody looks at me when i'm coming out of my apartment nobody asks me nobody look at me in certain ways then i now understood that Truly, there are two types of Nigerian living in Ghana. If you are a Nigerian living in Ghana, you may be treated according to your life in Ghana. But what I'm trying to say is, if you are a Nigerian living in Ghana, there are chances that you will be treated according to your lifestyle. Do you understand? And this is why I keep advising people. There was a young Nigerian guy I brought onto my channel here. I interviewed him because he's uh, into a lot of things. Felt proud. You know, when I met him, I felt proud and I invited him. He talked about his experience constantly being arrested. And it was immediately he moved out of that environment to a new environment. Everything changed for him. Little did he know that all his all his fellow countrymen he was surrounded himself with at that time were into one illegal thing or the other and he had no idea he had no idea so it was when he moved out from there to another space you now see that the police were no longer harassing him they were no longer knocking at his door so sometimes in ghana when you are facing that issue of having to deal with the police on a daily basis constantly all you have to do is to take a walk, take your circle. You may not have any idea what is happening. If you are innocent, you don't know anything that is happening. You may not know because these are security personnel that works with information. So you will constantly go through a lot. And at the end of the day, this is a lot. You have nothing to do with it. So all you have to do is check your circle, check your surrounding. If it's not convincing enough then i think you should take a walk the moment you take a walk trust me the harassment will reduce or it completely end do you get it i don't know how to put it again so that someone will get it so if you're constantly going through harassment you may need to take a look at your environment that way you'll be able to tell what you need to change about yourself if you need to move out of that place to a, another one or you need to change attitude towards life around here this is coming from my heart to whoever cares to listen and this is also uh, coming from my heart to those that are looking to move to ghana and you're you've you've heard all this harassment i still want to urge you to go on ahead and move but your surrounding you have to check it because some things here yeah, things that we consider okay let me just understand and not judge anybody because 
nobody is perfect right nobody is perfect we know the country we come from is not easy it's not the easiest so if there are businesses that you are doing to put food on your table to put food on your table so it's expected that you just take it understand it and just deal with it like that in as much as we try to do that what is wrong is still wrong and you have to know that because other people are not going to open their hearts to you that way oh okay let me understand after all it's not the only one politicians say if they thief then they do this then they do this so if you are into I don't know until I get myself into trouble by opening up like if there's something you do if you are into some see the police are aware of you you may not know that the police are aware of your environment so if there's something you do that constantly draw them closer to you that makes you a target it simply means you need to change attitude or if you're simply a victim of you just a victim of circumstances just because you're a nigerian i think you should move out of that environment to a new one it could be that the people around there are the ones bringing you problem but you do not know it's not their intention to bring you problem but you know just like a magnetor it will attract every other magnet net objects around around it so if you feel like okay i'm a nigerian and i'm staying in the midst of some nigerians but i don't really know what they are into and i'm i'm constantly being harassed even though i'm not alone they harass all of us which is fun right i still think that if you are if you know what you're doing you should take a walk change your environment do you understand change your environment maybe there is more to it than the eye could see i won't say more than this okay i'm just um just going to be diplomatic a little with this topic because the way a Ghanaian is going to treat so do not expect them to treat you the way they treat mama and kichi that sells food at the roadside and a lot of our neighbors knows that mama and kichi is a genuine person selling food in ghana do not expect the same treatment if you are especially into some legitimate businesses do you get it you will not get the same treatment and you expecting the same treatment is going to break your heart if you are here and you're seeing this video and you are into some illegal businesses you know that even because see even back at home we shouldn't come to Ghana and pretend that eh, they should accept what we do and deal with it they should accept what we do and deal with it because even at home if it's okay there, if there are no stars harassing that the police harassment, EFCC harassment and all that, I don't think you would have want to leave. You'd have loved to be there because it's cheaper for you to be there. But because of all these things put together, you left home to a nearby country or countries where you'll be allowed to do your thing without anyone disturbing you. So you don't expect them to accept you because at home, they do not accept you. You are doing that because you have chosen to do that or life have pushed you to a point of no other choice and you are into that. Yeah, but you're not doing that because you have been accepted to do it. So do not come to Ghana and expect to be accepted. I'm saying this so you won't play the victim game here because... <laughs> eh? See, is this same Ghana that me are living? Now, let me give you tips and tricks on how to live and enjoy your life in Ghana as a Nigerian. I'm going to share this because I'm sharing this because there is no how you explain to me that you are not happy in Ghana. You are not enjoying your life in Ghana because you have people discriminating against you. You have people treating you badly. You have people treating you poorly because you are a Nigerian because you are not a Ghanaian see no matter how you explain it to me I will never understand it because I can't relate I don't understand how exactly do you mean because is it not the same Ghana that I live in now maybe you are getting things done wrongly or it could be that you are expecting too much or you're bringing the home attitude here it's not gonna be accepted here because in as much as we have Nigerians and Ghanaians have a lot similarity in culture, it's still not the same. 
one of them is the quiet type the other one is the outspoken type it does not make the quiet type better than the outspoken one the difference is that you has to know how to maneuver your way into these two cultures and live peacefully and that is why i want to share these simple tips with you because if you like there's no how you're going to explain it to me that hey i'm living in ghana they are discriminating against me because i'm a nigerian they don't like me they treat me differently i will never understand it because i can't relate i live here and uh, with my full chest i don't experience that hey, how to live in Ghana is reduce your expectation. Step number one on how to enjoy your stay in Ghana and not feel like you don't belong here is reduce your expectations when you are dealing with a Ghanaian. For instance, when you walk into a shop in Ghana and you say hello to the seller, which is your choice, saying hello, hello is your choice, right? Or you just go straight to the point, oh, I want to buy this and the person don't respond well all i would advise you to do is walk out of that place go to the next one if you get to the next one you receive the same energy walk to the next one go and buy your something go and buy whatever you are out there to buy and go back to your house so do not expect to see all the all the shop owners smiling at you when they sees you coming with money to buy something from them like it is done at home because a business owner in Nigeria will celebrate you for coming to patronize him or her. They have different attitudes to how they welcome their customer. Some of them will praise her, her sister, how you day? Here, a lot of the times, you may not see that. And that is one thing that will make you feel cold. Like, why are they doing this? Am I, you get it? Buy that thing and go. Don't expect anything. And if you go into a shop and they tell you, I have clothes just go go to another one otherwise if you keep want if you want them to be nice to you hey my sister i like your hair eh my sister you will be you will always be unhappy or you walk into a shop in ghana and the person is on phone and the person just acts like they can't see you or some of them will tell you in pacho meba when he tells you that or he or she, when he or she tells you that but they do not stop the phone pause the phone to attend to you all you have to do is walk out of that place go to another place this morning i experienced it i wanted to withdraw some money so i can get water and other things and i stopped by a mobile money shop and this girl was on phone and she told me because the reason she spoke to me is because i told her please i want to she now said pacho meba so I don't know how important the call is to her. I stood there for a few minutes and I had to take a walk. She didn't call me back. It simply means that the phone call is more important to her than selling to me, attending to me. So I walked away. So when you experience all these things, you start to feel like, hey, they are hating me. No, some people are naturally like that. My observation in Ghana, especially business owners, when they, some people don't, when you go, the person will tell you they are eating. And that is it. So unlike back home where someone is eating and you come, the person will quickly drop the food, go attend to you. In Ghana here, if they don't attend to you while they are eating or they are on phone, it's not because you are in Nigeria. It is the person's attitude towards how they do business. All you have to do is walk out of that place. I'm saying this because I think I'm gradually getting tired of this, our co constant complain oh they don't like us they don't this they don't that you kind of wonder like is it not the same ghana that i live in i don't experience all these things i do not go to church yeah i do not go to church so how am i going to be so attached to the indigenous to a point that i'll start to notice if they are treating me different if they are treating me poorly if they are treating me uh, different from the from their people how where my kids school i just drop my child in school and i leave the schools they don't even do that because these are i'm talking about places where you experience this mostly shops that is where you experience this kind of attitude where someone would prefer to have their conversation on the phone than attending to you do you get it 
so but when you walk walk into a place like bank and uh, stuff all these enlightened uh, organization you may not experience it so i'm saying this because i want too many it's beginning to look like these two countries is not their social media bruhaha alone so we don't bring this energy offline to you understand for me right now i won't lie to you i feel like moving out of this apartment because sometimes i am being haunted for a sin i never committed for instance me complaining to my landlord about maybe water and him telling me your people have refused to pay why are you calling me when myself i have paid so i am i have to pay for the sins of my brethren people that don't even know the part of nigeria i come from because i come from a tiny dot a tiny tribe do you understand so in your environment is it speaks is very important for me right now my environment especially with this water issue it's eating me up where i can't complain freely because i'll be reminded that my people have refused to pay some of your people have not paid uh -huh. nobody reminds me of my people that have paid oh, the other guy up who pays his bills even before due dates and myself who pays who makes the sacrifice to pay even before due dates so these are the issues these are the ways for you to enjoy living in ghana as a nigerian check your environment and check change it the truth is a guy who is into cyber crime and a guy who is into phone selling or phone repairing or a guy who hustle a circle they are not going to get the same treatment or a guy who is here for work that is being sent here by his company back at home or a guy who do like a nine to five job who wakes up in the morning let me make it clear a guy who wakes up in the morning get dressed to go to work go to his shop go to his business go to his um office go to somewhere go to circle to hustle he's not the same way they are going to treat you you have to understand that because some people feel like they can't understand why of all the things in this life this is all you do for a living and you expecting them to understand it's not going to work you're not going to enjoy your stay in ghana this is all i have to say so tips for you to enjoy your stay in ghana don't make too many friends don't expect too much from your environment the people around if it's hello you are going to say to your neighbor just say it and pass you don't have too much if there's someone you click with who gets to understand you because i have realized that Ghanaians need time for them to evaluate you and judge you differently so but you don't just come today and expect them to welcome you and then you guys will start to blend like we do at home it's not the same if at this point this video still you have anything against this video then i don't know how else to come in and be of help for me i have reported i have told the people involved to go to the police and lay their reports and as a nigerian if your hands are clean my advice is do not hesitate to go to the police to lay your reports leave it there for them if they don't act because you're a nigerian let it be recorded in your conscience that you have at some point reported to the police but they did nothing to help you or to save the situation i hope that you understand this is all i have to say nobody will come and tell me eh, you're always on the side of Ghanaian. you're always no this is their country i am here if if my life here is no longer giving if i'm not loving living here i know where to go back you know where to go go home mm? if i have any day i feel like i'm i'm not okay i'm feeling a certain way living here i'm feeling bored i'm feeling lonely i'm being discriminated against i'm being you know i'm going through some things that i honorably won't go through even though my hands are clean any day i start to feel that way i know where to go back ukele is there waiting for me I will go back there do you understand this is why i tell you i will never tell you continue to bear no there's nothing to bear if you can't take it if it's not okay you are human and you have a place you come from return there it's not that bad i know that it's not easy back at home but man it is not that bad if you are feeling in a, a way that you know we it gets to the point of us making videos um making it when you yourself you know what you do for a living you know why 
You know why these people are constantly at your door point, at your doorstep. You know why. You know why. I'm saying this because this, all this dragging and all that should remain on social media where we don't have to get physical with each other. If there are things that, if there's someone oppressing you, go to the police. Don't come and sit down and say, if I go, you heard from a Yahoo boy that if you go to the police station, you'll be wrong. You, you know they do Yahoo. You they say phone case for, for circle. Or you they say food, you they do legitimate hustle. You can't follow the person, sit down. You, you don't know the full story. Oh. Now waiting me, I get to talk with you. So this is all I have to say. So don't act. Don't let your judgment. Don't pass your judgment based on other people's experiences. If you have issues, go to the police and report. Let it be that you reported and they did not. And they did not act. They did not do anything about it because you're in Nigeria. And that way you have a first-hand information. Because if you don't go, you wouldn't know. I cannot ask you to judge my living in Ghana experience with yours. Don't, don't let my life in Ghana be a yardstick to your own because you're never going to be happy. You see me, I'm always indoor. Otherwise, expecting little will help you go a long way on here. And like I said before, if you're, an, if you're living in an environment that you constantly get harassed by the police, I think it's time for you to check what the people around you are into then remove yourself if your hands are clean go live on your own and thank me later i hope that this video makes sense to you and i will see you in my next one bye